Hi, my name is Bram and today I want to do a quick video demonstration on how to measure, set, piston ring and gaps on a Subaru EJ25. In order to measure the ring end gaps we need to place the ring into the bore and it needs to be squared up in the bore as well um, so that the ring is uh, perfectly perpendicular to the bore, bore surface um, so that it gives you an accurate result. I use this um, tool basically drops down into the bore like that and squashes the ring to a set distance from the deck surface and once it's in um, this lip sits on the deck surface positioning the ring perfectly square down in the bore. Um, from there we can use the feeler blades um, and feel for what the the current gap is 23 inch feeler and she's just snugging up in there now it's a bit tight so it's got a little bit of ways to go yet um, one thing I will mention this is very dependent on temperature I, I've actually noticed nearly a full thousandths difference from very early in the morning when it was about uh, 12 to 14 degrees block temperature, I think the block was actually a bit colder the ambient was about 12 to 14 versus um, yesterday when I'd done it and it was approximately 18 to 20 degrees so that small change in temperature has resulted in over half a thousand of difference approaching a full thousandth of difference in ring gap um, so I'm not going to do the final grind on this until it's later in the day and it's actually warmed up because of that reason and I want to try and get it as accurate as I can. This is my Proform electric ring file. It has an electric motor which drives a grinding wheel under the guard here. Um, the ring is fed into the grinding wheel by this lever which actuates a sliding block on a dovetail slide. There's a, a dial indicator to measure travel. It has a clamp this uh, little thumb screw to clamp down on the ring and there's an eccentric spacer on this allen head uh, screw the way it works is you'd put your ring in there and you can clamp it down there's a set pin here which it rests against and it also rests against this eccentric spacer the eccentric spacer can be adjusted so depending on the bore size um, to to try and square up the ring like this is extreme but if it was out there you're obviously going to be cutting quite a steep angle as it comes in you're going to get to a, a point where you're square at the end and if you keep going it'll be uh, cutting the opposite way so you're going to try and have that set so as to give you a square grind on the end of your ring um, I, I've found that um, what you can do is you can actually use when you're, when you're trying to work it out you can use a bit of permanent pen or ink right on the end of the um, ring and you can actually take some cuts and you'll be able to see where it's grinding and you can adjust how you position it to, to keep it square. Um, once that's sort of been set then I found for this size ring if I bring the block out about 15 thou from its end and that's when I clamp on the ring um, so the, the ring is just touching the, the disc then that sort of gives me a square cut and you know, I can use that um, dial indicator to give me repeatable square ends um, obviously if I clamp the ring like that all the way out there even though this eccentric has been set it's not going to give me the same end as if it was all the way there or halfway in between um, it's battery powered and it has a charger um, I bought this out of America and it had a, a 110 volt charger so I've had to buy a, a 240 volt, 220 volt charger which is sort of a universal thing and it doesn't quite fit in the socket so I've sort of got some cable ties and stuff holding it in place um, power switch on the side and um, that's how it works, yeah you just feed the thing in okay it's now later in the day uh, it's warmed up a bit and I'm ready to do my final uh, measurements and cutting of the rings um, the temperature of the block currently 
at 21 degrees the feelers 20 degrees um, ambient air temperature is 20 degrees so it's about right now to check the final clearances for these ring end gaps um, do the, the second ring first up I've already got it close um, this morning when it was colder but leaving the final cut up until now just drop that into the bore try with a 24 valve first no, 24 goes in but she's quite quite stiff there Twenty-five won't go. I'm, I'm aiming for twenty-five um, with my ring gaps. So take it over to the filing machine. Just once you've done a, a file, um, you can just take the burr off the edge. You're not actually trying to chamfer it, you're just trying to simply knock the burr off. A uh, little, little file like this. And again on the other side. Just to take those uh, sharp edges off. Again with the uh, 25 and that's pretty much where I want it to be snug on 25 um, so that is how you do it thanks for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe